if you're following anything about climate change. As the models get better and better, we're going to start to be able to say this coal plant produced this CO2, which increased, the, say, the cost of flooding in this location, and you know, now owe X number of dollars to this community that just got flooded or this business that just lost all of its revenue because of climate change. As those models become clearer and clearer, and we can start to attribute damages, economic damages, to CO2 pollution, they represent climate liability, CO2 carbon liabilities. No one's had to pay that yet. But you can very easily, just by tracking this out a few years, see where this is going. There's already lots of lawsuits. And even if you don't lose, or even if you don't win that lawsuit, you still have to pay for the lawyers to be able to fight against it. As soon as one of those lawsuits hits, as soon as ExxonMobil or one of the major coal companies is sued for fiscal liability from the result of climate change, the floodgates are going to open. And every lawyer that you know, is greedy and wants money, <laughs> there's quite a few of those, <laughs> are going to go after every coal-fired power plant, every natural gas plant, every oil refinery, every mine, anyone that's producing any kind of fossil fuels. And so there's this future liability hovering in the future, and you don't know quite know how much it is. And one of the values that solar in particular, but all renewable energies provide for energy companies, is you're reducing that future liability. You don't know what it is. It's very amorphous. You don't know when it's going to hit. But if, you have, if you're operating mostly solar and wind, you know that your chances of being sued are much lower than somebody that's, say, producing 100% coal. And that's something that I think that as we move into the future and as these models get better and better, we only need one jurisdiction to announce that you can no longer put carbon in the atmosphere without paying a fine or being sued out of business um, from the liability that's caused from harming other people. It's all clearly there scientifically but we have to get to the point where it's clearly there legally.